find the volume of the solid. So when you have a solid that's not a traditional shape, you want to see if you can break it down into shapes that you can find the volume of. Then you can add the volume of the pieces together and get the entire volume. And I'm looking at this guy here, and it looks like it's a triangular prism, and there's a triangular pyramid on top. And I'm saying triangular because the base is a triangle, and the base is a triangle here for the pyramid. So the volume of the prism plus the volume of the pyramid is going to be the total volume. Okay, so the prism volume is the area of the base times the height, and the area of the base is given as 28 square centimeters. and the height is 14 centimeters. So to find the volume of the prism, I just need to do 28 square centimeters times 14 centimeters. And let me get a calculator for that. So we're just going to do 28 times 14, 392. And it's cubic centimeters, or centimeters cubed, because you have square centimeters times centimeters. Now let's take a look at the pyramid. Pyramid volume is one third of the area of the base times the height. So that's going to be one third. The area of the base is still 28 square centimeters. And the height of the pyramid is 12 centimeters. So if I do one third times 28 times 12, that's going to tell us the volume of the pyramid part. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 3 for the 1 third, and then times 28 times 12. 112. And it's centimeters cubed for the units. So now we know the volume of each piece. We can add those volumes together and get the total volume of the solid. Okay, so the volume is going to be 392 centimeters cubed plus 112 centimeters cubed. Let's see what that total is. 392 plus 112. 504. So the total volume of the solid is 504 centimeters cubed. So just to sum up here, when you have a complicated solid, divide it up into pieces that you can find the volume of individually, and then just add to find the total volume.